Guys, it's Lost in Plot, and we're here with the pilot episode of a Netflix original series, First Kiss. That's right. It's First Kill. It's what? First Kill? Oh, first I think the episode is First Kill. That's right. The series name is First Kill, and it's a hot, hot property on Netflix. If hot, you hot. ever wished that Buffy the Vampire Slayer were more like a gay soap opera, we can scratch that itch for you right now. Gay Twilight. Gay Twilight. Yeah? Yeah. yeah, it's gay Twilight. That's what we've got here. Our story is about uh, two characters, Juliet, and I don't know if, if either of us can say the other character's name. Cali, Cal, Cal, something or other. Cal. Cal. Anyway, you've got one. Calliope. That's actually pretty good. Calliope. We'll go with that. One is a teenage vampire. Ooh. And the other is a teenage vampire hunter. Oh. And they're gonna fall in love. And I, I don't even know if it's love. They're just, they're really feeling each other up pretty intensely in this episode. There's some heavy gay petting going on. Oh. Yeah, and that's that's our big twist on this. I mean, we've seen a lot of these, these things before. It's like, yeah, they're in love, but one's trying to kill the other because they're sworn enemies. Yeah, but but they're, they're lesbians here. Come for the heavy gay petting. Stay yes. for the mediocre vampire drama. Yeah, and that's the best way to describe it, is a nice big old gay twilight with uh, uh, a couple lesbians at the center. But they're not the only ones. It seems like most of the cast here is gay. Yes. Which is, you know, what we're doing here. It's Pride Month. So Netflix has, has released this for us. If you're feeling pride, have yourself a gay bonanza. Have it. Have it. And they're really romanticizing and glorifying... Um, homosexuality mm -hmm. and uh, vampires I guess too yeah you get it all and first-person narration from not just one perspective but two that's right halfway through the episode we switch from Juliet who's our teenage vampire and then we get the awful narration from Calliope Calliope who's our vampire hunter now writing wise when you're going with the narration for your protagonists it's kind of frowned upon, would you say? I mean, I don't want to just crap on it and say it always sucks, but a lot of times when you're using that narration to tell the audience all these things, it's because you can't write a better script where it just kind of naturally comes out and you show them through it. So you rely on narration as a pretty big crutch to get your story across. And oh, we've got a lot of that here. Yeah. I mean, I mean we, we can even look at crap, but I mean, this is one of those shows that's 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 so bad you might actually just enjoy watching it for the laugh, especially if you had a couple of drinks. Um, that may be all that you can say about First Kill. Yeah, the narration there is is just there to get us to, to the lesbian dry humping scenes. So that's why you put up with the narration here. Who cares what else is going on? Do we really? I mean, the, the, the female vampire is coming of age. She's starting to get her vampire powers and she's got to make a kill. And the vampire hunter is, you know, looked down upon by the rest of her vampire hunting family. And she really needs to prove herself. So these two really need to kill each other if they would just stop humping each other in oh, the closet. No, they can't. It's lesbian dry humping. Now, this is very clearly a young adult Twilight themed kind of deal. But on Netflix, this is TV mature. This is meant for mature audiences, which is the very odd conundrum that, you know, your young adult audience, yeah, you don't want to let them watching that. Most parents probably say no to that. And then your older mature audience, what are you doing watching a YA vampire thing? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Who's this for? Like, what's the target here? Who are the people watching this? I mean, you're obviously targeting young adults, is, is, is what the, the demographic is. Well, then, then, then ta targeting adults with content that may or may not be appropriate for them, probably not. Well, I mean, it's Netflix. It's certainly not beyond them to peddle oh, smut to Netflix. anybody that they can. So. No, Netflix. And this is where the whole grooming controversy com comes in. When you're trying to push uh, more mature themes onto younger audiences, that's the controversy there. But there's no controversy here in terms of first kill and whether anyone would want to watch this or spend any time with it. No, it is absolutely uh, dead. I'll keep it at a... a, a... Yeah, it's a... <laughs> it's a one out of ten. I was going to be generous and maybe give it a two, but then I, I thought, I was like, well, why would I give it a two? Like, what is there that's good? 
The writing's very poor. The acting is, you know, laughable. Like, like he's saying, it's it, you're gonna watch it for a laugh, but nothing else. It's true. I, I guess I can't really argue with him. I gotta give it a one out of ten too. That's the word on Netflix's original series. Probably Netflix. not gonna help. Uh, probably not gonna help them in the stocks there and, and try to reverse course for the Netflix Corporation. Oh, unfortunately, no. but they can keep on trying. Oh. Guys, if you've seen First Kill, not First Kiss. Leave your thoughts and comments down below. Like and subscribe. Check us out on Twitter. We'll see you all on the next one.